Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at Twitter's new polling option. It's really easy to use. So let's go ahead and get started here and create a new tweet. And let's just say, do you prefer iPads or laptops for your one-to-one -one program? And then we'll select poll. And we can say iPads. And we can say laptops. Now you can only have two choices here. And let's go ahead and tweet it. And you'll notice you also unfortunately cannot add a media piece to the to the tweet. That would be a, a nice feature, but unfortunately you can't do that yet. Let's go ahead and tweet that. And so my tweet was posted, and you'll notice there are no votes so far and there's 23 hours left to vote on this poll. Uh, now when the responses come in, all we'll see is the vote total. We won't see who voted per se, uh, unless someone follows up with a tweet and says, uh, I prefer iPads, and then of course we'll see that. So let's give this a, a minute and we'll see if any votes come in. All right, so now we can see that there are some votes that have come in on this poll. You see 43% prefer iPads and 57% prefer laptops right now. Of course, we only have seven votes. Again, if we wanted to get some feedback from individuals and have names attached to it, we'd have to go in the more traditional route of asking people to just reply to the tweet itself rather than just voting. So that's how the new polling option works from the perspective of someone setting up a poll. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.